Welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use Blender Open Data. Blender Open Data enables you to benchmark your CPU and GPU. The first thing you want to do is download Blender Open Data. You go to opendata.blender.org or simply click the link in the description of this video if you're too lazy to type. You will then end up on this page. You can download the benchmark for Windows by just clicking the blue button that says download benchmark for Windows. It's 12 megabytes, it is zipped. If you have another platform, you can just click download for other platforms and choose Linux, Mac OS CLI, Mac OS Windows CLI or Linux CLI. After successfully downloading the file, you can right click it and then unzip it. Once you've unzipped it, you will get the benchmark launcher, which you can launch by double clicking on it. Be careful when you launch Blender Open Data, Windows might tell you that it is an unknown app and asks you if you want to run it anyway. You can do so because it is a trustworthy app. At first you are greeted with the short welcoming message. You can simply click next. It's fetching some metadata and now you are able to select which Blender version you want to use for benchmarking. It's completely up to you which version you choose. I choose 2.82. Click on next step and then you can select the benchmarks you want to run. Blender will also tell you what the total download size will be in case you select all of those. In case you select all of those, just click download benchmarks and it's going to download the benchmarks. It's gonna take a little while depending on your connection. Once you're done, it's going to list the devices that you have and you then can select a benchmark for either your CPU, which in my case is a GeForce GTX 1080, or the CPU, which is, as you can see, an Intel Core i7-4790K, stock of course. And then you can simply click Start Benchmark and it's going to start the benchmark with the very first scene, which is the BMW 27. It's gonna take a warm-up, then loading the scene and finally benchmarking it. This will go through all of the scenes you've selected. As you can see, the next one is the classroom scene, then you will have the fishy cat scene, which is scene number three, then you've got the coro scene, which is number four, you've got the pavilion Barcelona, which is scene number five, and eventually it's scene number six, which is called Victor. Once you're done, you'll get the results. The results show you how fast the scenes have been rendered using either your GPU or a CPU, depending on what you selected in the first place, and then you can submit your results. If you wanna submit your results, you simply click on submit results, and then you will get a short message that thanks you for submitting your results, and that you can view your results by using the button below or by going to your account, in case you have an account. In case you don't have an account, you can, of course, create one. You simply click on account and then on register. I of course already registered an account, so I'm just gonna show you my past benchmarks. When I click on past benchmarks, you can see that I created a benchmark on March 24th. I can click on ID or view benchmark to view my benchmark results. I used my GeForce GTX 1080 for benchmarking and you can see here that my benchmark, this red dot, is approximately 40 minutes and 31 seconds for all of the scenes. You're able to compare your benchmark with other benchmarks. For instance, the Risen Threadripper 1950X is slightly slower than my GeForce 1080. You can also go down the line to the left and you will see that until you have systems like the Titan RTX GPU that barely take 10 minutes, a fraction of what my system took. You can also see here that this benchmark, my GTX 1080 ranks in the top 57% of benchmarks which ran the same scenes. You can also see the individual render times once you hover over the scenes, you will see how many seconds each of the scenes took your system to complete to render. You can also search data which enables you to show devices with different rendering options and different operating systems running different benchmarks, so you can completely customize the search experience you want to have here. For instance, you have already a selection of benchmarks shown here. In case you want to sort the number of benchmarks, the most benchmarks are so far here for the Risen 7 3700X 8-core processor and the median render time is roughly 360 seconds. Of course, when you choose different versions of Blender like 279 or 282, that might vary a little bit. What has been your experience so far with Blender Open Data benchmarking? Please leave a comment down below and share your results.